the good kid. My approach to bringing Seth to life really had to do a lot with connecting with myself. The life experience that I had and who I was coming into it is exactly who Seth needed to be. He lives with books and Dungeons and Dragons and his drawing and his tuba. What has it gotten me? Being good, what has it gotten me? The scene in the library where Seth and Kimberly are hanging out for the first time and Seth wants to show her anagrams and offers to do one of her name, it just evokes that kind of magical feeling of budding friendship, the kind of like, oh my goodness, what's gonna happen next? Are we gonna become best friends? Is this something really beautiful? Is this something amazing? Like the first spark of that. The unseen, the unheard, the good sun. There's a scene in Act Two where me and Kim are finally kind of getting in with the other group of teenagers. And we're sitting down and I'm showing them anagrams and we're all playing Uno and it's incredible and it feels great to play Seth, getting that moment to finally make friends and we're talking about our hopes and dreams in the future and you know it feels great for everyone else but for the audience you get to see Kim sitting above us thinking about she might not be able to be a part of all of that and I think it displays a story where people look at the parts of themselves that they have trouble with that they might not be the most proud of or may have caused them trouble in the past and I think it's a story of people facing that head on and coming to terms with it and saying, you know, this is who I am. What am I going to do with that?